If you've booked a flight for the holidays, you might be experiencing some sticker shock. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski was at the Waco Regional Airport today talking with travelers about how those fares are making them rethink some of their holiday plans. Lauren, it comes on the heels of Travel Deal Tuesday tomorrow when many airlines are offering discounts on airfare for the coming months. It could be a long awaited reprieve from the rising cost to fly, but I spoke with some passengers landing here in Waco this afternoon who tell me they're planning to skip the airport altogether come December and instead hit the road. Debbie Chow and Natalie Shower are back in Waco after a long Thanksgiving weekend in Colorado. It is nice to be able to see family and to go on trips again. Choosing to fly home on Monday this year to beat the crowds. <laughs> Everything is just a lot more expensive. And beat the steep ticket prices. I think it was like $400 cheaper to come back on the Monday after Thanksgiving instead of like Sunday. So I like had to miss class, but like it was like spend $400 or like miss two classes. Data from travel company Hopper shows an 18% average airfare increase from last year and a 36% increase from 2020. Joel Martinez, director of aviation at Waco Regional Airport, points to fuel prices and staff shortages for the growing costs. The airport waiting to see what impact the prices will have on traffic this holiday season. I, I would anticipate that those numbers, that those fare prices wouldn't have too steep of an impact. But we'll have to determine that after, you know, our reports in just in January. After making it through the crowds and sky high costs, flyers like Shower and Chow are already rethinking their travel plans for December. I think I will be driving back. <laughs> These passengers trying to navigate their way home as fast and as cost efficient as possible. Just kind of try to do your traveling early, try to do your planning early, and I think you'll be OK. Well, not everyone is canceling their travel plans. I spoke with several Central Texas travel agencies on the phone this afternoon. They tell me they're swamped making plans.